tells it here for EL Now. Fencing is one of the oldest sports in the world and it was developed from actual combat. It may not be that popular yet in Nigeria, but it is gaining ground and it's an Olympic sport for which we have a national fencing federation. I'm at one of their exhibition events in Lagos and I'm um, working on my swordsmanship just in case I have to duel for the honor of a damsel in distress. One of the reasons why fencing wasn't very popular is because people couldn't relate with the fencing. You couldn't see their faces, you didn't know what they looked like, and it just sort of took that relationship away. And it didn't, it didn't make fencing very popular. So one of the things that's trying to do to make fencing more popular is to get people more engaged in the sport is now going about the visor mask. So now in the, you need to have this in the World Championships or in the Olympics. These are the masks that allow you. You're allowed to fence with. But anything below that, you can fence with a normal mask. I heard about fencing years ago when I was in school, from boarding school, uh, but it wasn't a sport that really took my liking. Um, I started fencing in about 2006, um, and I've sort of been off and on for, uh, well, since 2006, um, and I started fencing again in Nigeria um, last year. Um, I think because people aren't exposed to it, it's not something we're familiar with, and with the Nigerian Fencing Association, I think that'll change. Well, the first thing is fencing is an amateur sport and isn't very popular compared to the likes of football, but it's getting more popular and all we really need to do is create awareness. There you have it. So I fenced for the first time ever and it was fantastic. And there was a guy who said fencing is 